Take questions for Kyle. First question on the front, on the left side. Hi, Mr. Kuzma. I'm Brad from Spo TV, South Korea. Uh, so you seem to be get going at the first quarter, demonstrating your abilities. What was your motivation or mindset heading into this game? Uh, just, uh, you know, just play hard, uh, give back to the game. I played in this game last year and was really uh, lackadaisical, and I didn't want to do that again. So that was uh, one of the main reasons. Next question right here. Uh, Kyle, I know I know it's an exhibition and, and there's no defense and, and, and the points don't matter to some extent, but yeah. um, and does it matter to you kind of being a part of this in the turn sense of with your peers, um, you know, you're you're seen as one of the better players in that group? A hundred percent. You know, there's a lot of great players out there, all stars. And, um, you know, we're all young rising stars in this league and um, Obviously, it's an exhibition, like you said, but um, you know it's always better to have bragging rights anytime you can. So, next question towards the middle. Hey, Kyle, um, you got a chance to play with Jaron Jackson Jr. and Marvin Bagley too. You know, talented rookie big man. Just what are your what do you think about those two players? Just long term. Uh, they got bright futures. Bright futures. Um, you know, Marvin is an excellent athlete. Um, you know, a budding skill set. You know, it seems like he's getting better throughout the, uh, the season. So, you know, that's always a good thing to see. Um, and, you know, Jaron, you know, he's been great all year. Can really shoot it. Um, you know, probably going to be on one of the rookie teams. And, you know, you know, credit to both of those teams to, you know, find those guys. And, um, you know, those, they'll be in the league for a long time. So, back left. Uh, Kyle, what does it mean for you to win MVP tonight? And, um, and did you expect to? Was that one of your expectations coming in to this game? Uh, yeah. Um, you know, like I said earlier, last year I didn't really play that hard. Um, and this year I just came out, you know, one, I wanted to get some conditioning. And two, um, you know, why not win MVP? You know, you're in the game. So, you know, might as well just try. Tim, next to Hey, Kyle, I was just curious how, uh, how I mean, you said on the court that part of the motivation was to get the, uh, the extra monetary incentive for winning. Facts. Right? What's that? Yes. I was going to say, how, how much of that was actually something that was in your guys' mind throughout? The um, I think it was the second time out, and I broke the huddle by saying bonus, one, two, three. So there you go. Davide, third row on the left. Kyle, okay, Davide Quinellato here. Here, Gazzetta. Hi. Um, how do you go from winning the MVP of the Rising Star Challenge to the next level? Like um, trying to make the All-Star game next year. Yeah. Uh, that's the next level. Just working hard, um, you know, dedicating, you know, what I do on a daily basis to my craft and take care of my body. Um, you know, I got confidence that I can be one day be an all-star in this league. And, um, you know, that's definitely a goal for me, you know, ever since I was a kid. So winning the MVP is like a confirmation you're on the right path or? Um, I wouldn't say winning the MVP, but, you know, playing in this game back to back years and, you know, getting the notice and recognition from my peers and media and fans. So, um, you know, I think that's an indicator of being on the right path. Thanks. In the back again. Kyle, congrats for the MVP. Um, I would like to ask you, you had a great season so far in the regular season. You won the MVP in the Rising Stars. You know, how do you explain that you have a better season this year in the second year, professional year? Even though uh, LeBron is in the team, which is a big player who's playing in the same position with you? Uh, adjusting my game, um, you know, just trying to fit into the system and, uh, you know, just being a great team player and working hard all summer. Um, you know, I spent all summer working out, waking up 5 a.m., lifting, shooting, going back in the gym. So, um, you know, obviously last year came onto the scene and, a lot of people didn't know who I was and um, didn't really have expectations. But, you know, when you have a successful season, um, you know, like I did my rookie year, um, you're going to have a target on your back. And I knew that. And, you know, I want to be great. So, um, you know, got in the gym right after the season. On the aisle on this side. <clears throat> cool. That's, obviously, I watched you for a lot of years, so how you grow up. How much mental toughness have you developed? It seemed like you're so much more poised, you know, mm -hmm. just with everything, your interviews, the way you go out. How, how, How's your mental toughness developed this year? And, and what do you accredit to that? How, how do you feel like you got to that level just to get 
so much more mental toughness? Uh, mental toughness, just all the adversity I've been through. I think uh, adversity builds character and uh, builds m mental toughness as well. You know, I've been a lot through my life growing up in Flint. You know, that's hard enough. Uh, and trying to make it out is a different demon. So, um, you know, everything, every step in the journey has always been something that's made me tougher. And um, you credit all that to adversity. Last question right here. Kyle, right here, bro. So, you know, growing up, you, you talked about the adversity and, and, that, and that stuff. So I want to know what advice would you give kids that are coming from single parent homes who has similar situations as yourself, um, you know, mom working hard every night, kind of mm -hmm. showing you the ropes of really putting in that work. What would you say to the young kids out here to give them a little advice? Um, be the man in the house. Um, you know, obviously, you know, growing up in a single parent home, you're going to be, um, you know, you're going to have to be forced to grow up quick. Um, you know, being in tough environments is definitely going to raise that up. And, um, you know, just work, 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 um, you know, to have a single parent, you know, they're going to obviously work really hard just to make uh, ends meet, put stuff on the table. And, um, you know, that's a direct ref reflection. And, you know, that's, you know, something that young kids can look at from their parents that are single parents. Um, it shows them that, you know, you can work hard, you know, regardless of any type of circumstance you have. Thank you, Kyle. Yep. This concludes the media session in here for tonight. Thanks, all.